All right, YouTube, so you read the title of this video. You know what I'm doing. I'm doing a Jones Beach artwork drawing vlog, but some of these drawings are in a Pablo Picasso art style, which is kind of a first for me, and I'll get into the explanation for it after I show off this first drawing. So this first drawing is of Septile. As you can see, the bulbs on his back and his eyes are a little more golden because they use the metallic gold color pencil, and this time he actually has a storm cloud in his background and glowing leaves because Septile's the man. Now on to what I was saying about the meaning or the explanation behind the Pablo Picasso art style. So I got these black colored pencils, which I was super excited to get off Amazon, but they turned out to not be the greatest quality or at least not as good of quality as the other color pencils I use. But I found a way to make that a good way and sort of make it a little more of a messy art style. But in terms of the drawings I created, I think it really works with an edgy and unconventional style. So look forward to that. But we have a few more drawings before we get into that. So here we have the upside down lantern and lantern's classic go-to color scheme. I've drawn a million lanterns, so I think I should ought to move on from this one and not bother giving a deep explanation. You know what, I will give an explanation. Lantern's my favorite Pokemon. I have him tattooed on my arm because lantern signifies holding up a light, chasing out the darkness inside, and lantern's just super underrated, creative, and very cool and badass, and two thumbs up for lantern. Now the next drawing is when I get into the Pablo Picasso art style that I'm working on and you'll see some of the similarities. So this is Mr. Aiden who is almost unrecognizable as a superhero. I sort of drew him in kind of an edgy gothic kind of superhero which I know I've done a few times but as you can see he has the spiky emo hair and on his beard he got rid of the mustache but he has two black earrings, a black cross necklace, nipple rings, and two spiky bracelets along with his typical tattoos that he always rocks and he has a sunglasses kind of mask i don't know why i didn't just make that black face paint but i know that for the next time now and he has two swords and a killer cape along with a black halo because he's the dark angel so yeah i'm super proud of this drawing so this next drawing is of the crow the graphic novel cover that i found on google images that if you google the crow you'll find pretty high up on the list but I'm really proud of it. I think it works super well with these sloppy or not really sloppy but messy black colored pencils. I made them look a little too happy but you know why not what's the end of the world if I do that. Here we have one of my favorite villains of all time Fade Rauda and yes this is in the pre I'm bad at speaking sometimes the Pablo Picasso art style that I've been talking about and as you can see he's a little messy but Still super cool and badass in terms of art style, and I drew Doom Part 2 above him. Next up, we have Luke himself, the boss, and as you can see, he has got a little more beard hair than head hair. Well, actually, no, what am I saying? He doesn't. I look at this wrong, but got a stake in the background, a shooting star, and his golden necklace because he's the man. Next up, we have Chester Bennington in a stylish outfit, which is a black turtleneck with short sleeves, along with a clean, shiny head and his big earrings that he always rocks, along with these black boots and brown jeans so thumbs up for Chester yeah, and this may be my favorite drawing I've made in this style so far actually no that would be the Aiden one because that one I'm just so proud of but I'm super proud of this one too it's lantern but the melting pot of the yin and yang lantern with darkness but his body is white and his uh, lights are blue okay I'm really hard and bad at explaining this but just take a look at how beautiful this is doesn't it remind you of some of Pablo Picasso's art so yeah, this was a new art style for me, but I really like how it came out and it showed me that I can make and work with what I have, even if the colored pencils aren't the greatest. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more soon. Goodbye. But this has been Inktober part three.